So here we're asked to evaluate the vector field over a closed curve C. So we want to keep in mind here, let's recall that if our vector field is conservative, then by the fundamental theorem of line integrals, since our curve C is closed, if this vector field is conservative, then it's equal to zero. So before we get started on any extra work here, let's make sure that, or let's double check to make sure that this vector field is or is not conservative. So we want to check if the vector field, the given vector field F here is conservative. So if, is it equal to the gradient of the potential function? So let's just quickly remind ourselves, what exactly do we need to check to determine if our vector field is conservative? So we're gonna to need to make sure that the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of g with respect to x. We need to check that the partial derivative of f with respect to, to z, we need to make sure that this is equal to the partial derivative of h with respect to x. And we're gonna to need to make sure that the partial derivative of g with respect to z is equal to the partial derivative of h with respect to y. And if all three of these properties are holding true, then we will be able to confirm that, yes, this vector field is conservative. So let's give it a go. Now we're given here, we have this vector field F defined in, all, in space. We have components F, G, H, and here we have a cute little vector X, Y, Z. So let's go ahead now and find all of our partial derivatives. So if we have f is x, then the partial derivative of f with respect to y and the partial derivative of f with respect to z, they're both zero. Since we have g is equal to y, and we need to find the partial derivative of g with respect to x and the partial derivative of g with respect to z, we can see that they're both zero as well. And last but not least here, we have h is defined as the component z, and we need to find the partial derivative of h with respect to x and the partial derivative of h with respect to y. And again, we can see, hey, they're both zero. So we can say, therefore, since zero equals zero and zero equals zero and zero equals zero, keeping these three properties in mind, this tells us that yes, our vector field F is conservative. So without having to do any further computation, we can say that therefore, the integral over this closed curve C of the vector field dotted with the differential d vector r, because C is closed and F is conservative, is zero. And that is our very beautiful final answer.